So welcome to a brand new video guys. Now today is a very big video because we are going to be talking about the giant content update that is coming in December for the Xbox, PlayStation and the PC. This is probably going to be the biggest update that we've had of 2021. I'll be explaining to you guys all of that in today's video. It is going to be exciting, but obviously a very big download. Now, if you guys do get all the information you need to know in today's video, smash that like button. Let's try and go for over 1,000 likes on today's video. You smashed over 1,500 on the last video. That would mean so much to me. And make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out on all of your December art content because we've got so much that we are going to be doing. But anyway, let's get in with the video talking about what is going on within the community. So obviously back in November 10th, Cedric pretty much confirmed a lot of the stuff that was going to be coming to the game. He said Fear Evolved is already over, Turkey Trials, which is obviously live now, Winter Wonderland, which has been confirmed, the Lost Island that we know is coming, and then obviously the brand new free Viking map, Fedor, I can never pronounce it, so sorry about that, which is coming in June. But one thing we have recently found out is that the content update day for Lost Island is going to be joined by Winter Wonderland 6. Now this is absolutely crazy. I don't think it's been done before where we've had a brand new map and an event drop on the same day, which means this update is going to be very, very big. Now I know in some past videos I've done like, you know, an estimated update size for the video and I've done that in a few before. So for console, you could be looking at anything between 35 to 50 gigabytes for this content update it's going to be a very very big one for pc usually 25 to 30 because of the event as well events are on console are usually like 8 to 10 gigabytes on pc they're only like usually like one to three gigabytes but maps are always at least a good 25 to 30 gigabytes so it's going to be a big day now console always gets bug fixes and stuff as well which you have to think of that to be on top of it so expect a day hopefully i do feel bad if your internet might be a little bit slower because i know some people end up having to wait days before this new content but let's get in with some of the stuff so obviously it was announced that the Lost Island free DLC map was going to be coming out on December 14th, 2021. We're going to be getting the Amargosaurus, the Dinopithecus, and the Cyanember Crops as well. I will put the trailer in if you haven't seen it already. It is on YouTube if you want to go and check it out. But then every single year, um, Winter Wonderland comes usually around about the 16th or the 17th of December. And according to a recent interview, Wildcard have said that most likely that Winter Wonderland will drop on exactly the same day. And that is where we have found out that information. So I don't, I don't get me wrong. I think it's going to be a really big day for the game because think about it. Christmas content on a brand new map. There is obviously lots of um, snowy biome like area on the Lost Island as well. So you can really really get in that Christmas spirit. Three new dinos and we can enjoy that. Now I know I've seen a lot of people saying well I've got work and you know sometimes we haven't finished work but well most people wouldn't have finished for work for Christmas yet at December the 14th so it's going to be frustrating but I think it's better for players to just get the big update out of the way quickly and then you can just enjoy it over the full Christmas period which means you'll probably see this Christmas update lasting two and a half weeks rather than two weeks which is crazy. So last Last year with Winter Wonderland 5, we got lots of different content and I'm going to be, this community crunch actually came on December 14th um, and I'm going to be reading through everything that was from last year and, and talk about some of the new stuff that we most likely know that we're going to be getting for Winter Wonderland 6. So Winter Wonderland will be making its triumph return this year will be not for a fifth time, for a sixth time with new presents and goodies for ARK survivors. The last year, the winter themed holiday event began on the 17th of December at 10 a.m. PST for PC, Xbox and ps4 obviously ps5 now and the series x which is really cool um usually that's 6 p.m uk time for anyone that knows and it lasted until thursday the 7th of january so it'll be interesting to find out whether because it most likely will be starting earlier this year i know it's only three days earlier if we're going to still get um because uh, it lasts throughout new years and stuff um i don't know whether they're going to give us that two and a half to three weeks uh, of the event which means it'll be crazy for uh, for rates on official servers and all of the maps will receive winter ones land including raptor claws and gacha claws which always return every year year. So Raptor Claws is returning to drop off holiday gifts filled with loot, event items, mistletoe and lumps of coal for those naughty survivors. You'll be able to catch Raptor Claws flying across the skies at midnight game time on all maps and he usually lasts until 2am. 
Gacha Claws is also making a comeback to help Raptor Claws spread holiday cheer. Gacha Claws will be roaming all maps in true holiday spirit while sporting holiday themed colors. He will be accepting your coal and exchange will gift you holiday themed items or you can trade in your mistletoe and coal for a chance at event items, weapons and armor and seven brand new chibis. Now these will be different ones obviously this year that um, come in our way and I really really cannot wait for it and there is obviously as there has been for every new event this year a new skin which before obviously for the turkey trial which is live right now we have the um we have the turkey skin um for the for the fear evolve we have the skeleton and for the um summer bash we have the um inflatable rex costume which was funny um now this year uh, there'll be times three breeding player xp harvesting and obviously 1.5 hexagon bonus last year they were always times two rate as you can see already in the latest topics there is something where someone started it saying lost island and the christmas update i think there's a lot of people that i think it's like i don't know I, i'm gonna be it's gonna be interesting to read the comment section to see what people think about them both coming on the same day i'm a fan of it personally but i know there will be people i know going on about you know still being at work and when you have to download it things going wrong especially if you play official so obviously event creatures wrapped claws and gacha claws um last year there was rex sweater skin carol sweater skin bulb dog sweater skin blue winter beanie purple winter beanie <coughs> green winter beanie sorry about that um, um i've seemed to still have a little bit of a cold um, male and female noglin swimsuit skin male and female yeti swimsuit skin candy cane club skin christmas bowler skin nutcracker slingshot skin dino ornament swim bottom skin and top skin jaboa wraith swim bottom and top skin um ugly bronto sweater skin and ugly carno sweater and chibi sweater skin um gray winter beanie skin purple winter beanie skin red winter beanie skin felt reindeer antlers skin and the santa hat skin so obviously we'll have a return of all of these we'll have the new i think it could either be a snowman or it could be a um maybe a big santa costume or a it could be a christmas tree costume you never know but i really cannot wait to see what they're going to give us considering we've just had the turkey skin as well last year they had the shine horn chibi feather light glow tail bulb dog top hat um penguin reindeer and gacha claws this year they've been really um creating some cool um sort of event themed versions at that time of the year um obviously they had like the witching owl one for fear evolved and this year by the looks of things they'll probably have a christmasy themed chibi too um and then uh, event items festive dino candy holiday light holiday stocking holiday tree gift box snowman and wraith um and then the wild colors there was new ones last year but i don't they recently they've just been um uh, for these ones this year in 2021 they've just been releasing the same ones but they've got jade pine green spruce green dark magenta glacial powder blue teal dark violet red green light gray light red dark green dark red dino light red dino light green dino medium green dino albino and near white so they were all the colors that we had last year that will be returning one of the craziest things that i saw is that this time last year guys it was still it was actually in like two weeks time um or i know yeah it was it was in two weeks time from now or it might have even been one week from now arc 2 and the animated series were just announced and if you remember to celebrate the latest news of arc 2 in the animated series they, they gave us some special skins that we could obtain in game um and then obviously if you watch the trailers in the arc in game menu it gave us those uh, arc 2 skins which is how crazy is it it's been a whole year well well in a week's time it would have been a whole year since the arc 2 announcement and from what we found out is that um obviously the Fajor viking map is coming out in june 2022 so we most likely won't see the release of arc 2 until the end of 2022 winter time like a year from now or potentially even into 2023 which is just i don't know it's crazy but that is going to be the full video. Expect all of this content, including the Lost Island DLC map, which is going to be bringing the three new creatures. And one thing that I'm going to be honest with you guys is I generally think this map is going to be a lot of fun. I have played the, the map that is 35 to 40% complete. And that sh it really excites me just from playing that. And you would have seen some of my gameplay on that over the last few weeks and last few months since this uh, Lost Island map was announced. So I'm really expecting the other 60% of the map completed by a wildcard to be absolutely awesome. And what a Christmas experience we're going to be having on December 14th. 
Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe, and I will be reading all of the comment section as I want to be making sure that the community are happy with what's going to be going on. Thank you for watching. See you guys then. Thank you for the support.